The story of Titanic, the brief wonder of her sailing and the tragedy of her sinking, is only a chapter in the saga of North Atlantic crossings. As late as the mid-19th century, ocean voyages are grim necessities instead of pleasure cruises. English author Charles Dickens calls his Boston-bound ship not unlike a gigantic hearse with windows in the sides. Of his bunk, he writes, nothing smaller for sleeping in was ever made except coffins. Even after commercial ships begin to sail on fixed schedules, passengers endure cramped, unsanitary conditions for up to a month. Food is bad, disease is rampant, and the sea is unpredictable. Of every hundred ships that set sail, 16 will never reach port, some disappearing without a trace. <laughs>